uh, on uh, how the hair uh, loss affected me. It really didn't affect me a lot. It affected my wife more. So I decided to get it done and it actually made me look a lot better. And my wife's a lot younger and, and it is true. And the way I found Dr. Deb, Deep or Deb, I'm sorry, it was uh, on the internet uh, looking for hair specialists and I liked what I seen on his, uh, on his site. So I came in for the interview and the reason I chose him was two things. His price was really good and I liked all his pictures that he showed me before and after. They were really excellent. So I think he knew what he was doing. Um, on the day of surgery, for me, it was early in the morning we got here. Um, it was a whole day. It was always comfortable. They treated me really nice. My wife came in with me. We got lunch, both of us. It was really done really nice. And then we, we left. The next day, I, I uh, came in the morning so they can look at my hair and take out the suture. Not take out the suture, but just to say everything was okay. And the follow-up, and that also was done really nice. And everybody was really helpful here. Uh, my hair regrowth part, I think it was maybe two months when I started noticing stuff really good. And it was just amazing. After like six months, it was a big difference. And seven and eight months, a really big difference. Right? You can see all the hair com coming in. Um, when I went to my uh, hair uh, barber, he knew something was up with my hair, but he couldn't tell what. Um, he just said, oh, you look different. And I told him he couldn't even, he didn't even notice that. Hair, I had a hair transplant. He could not tell until he started looking for the little scar. Then that's when he could tell. But otherwise, he said it was, he couldn't tell at all. He's done a really great job. And the donor scar is pretty thin and small. Pardon? The donor scar? Yeah, the donor yeah. scar, you can't even tell unless you're hunting for it. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to tell. How the hair made me feel, it actually makes me feel up. I don't think it makes me feel better, but it actually makes me feel better and younger and, and, and it looks nice on me, especially the temples on the side that he did looks really nice on me. I, I like that a lot. Uh, would I recommend him? Yeah, 100% recommend him because he did a really nice job and follow up was really great and all the staff was really good. Thank you. And, and just to show the audience what he looked like before, uh, and thanks uh, Andre for the vote of confidence. Uh, but this is, yeah, good. You can zoom out a little bit. Slowly zoom in. Just hold on to it and zoom in. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Okay. Perfect. So that's where he was. But that's before, and then this is afterward. You can see and front the eyebrows and up. And you can see how natural. And it's the whole artistry behind it, from the eyebrow to the hairline, it's around 7 half to 8 half for Caucasian, and this patient around 7. And again, I use the average height as the guide, but really we build the hairline going to the facial structure, as long as it's proportional. And we not only lower the hairline, but we build the tempo in too. And the patient focus on the tempo because uh, it really frames the face even further. If we just lower the hairline and not build the tempo, you're going to have a really wide forehead. So the tempo is built in and it looks very natural. And you can see how nice the tempo is. You have nice volume and density. Again, it's really volume. And then the old tempo on this side. Look at that. Excellent volume and the tempo flow. So it's natural. You can't tell. And this is to see how thin he is. He just has a patch of hair here. He's thinning here. That's what it is. And, and I would and use a focus on this. <coughs> and we turn back. If I ever need some more hair transplants, up, I recommend I would use him again. Oh, thank you, Andre. So if, uh, we're gonna comb through so he can see, so the audience can see what he looked like. And uh, okay, you can see that is real hair. Let me just comb it through. It. And I'm gonna show the audience what the what the donor looked like. And I mean, what's the full head look like? Turn to the right. Okay, good. And turn to the left. And this is only 300 grams. 3,000 grams to be exact. So, thank you.